the project that we are going to build is complete backend e-commerce web API. So I request you if you haven't watched our previous part then the link of that part is in the description and you can also find a full playlist link of this project also in the description. If you visit the description then you will also find the github repository link so while coding of this part if you got any error then simply copy the code inside your computer now let's move to our project without wasting any time so now the time is come to post a new product rest api so now go inside our products.js file that is in this route and instead of only these items for our product I want to get name descriptions, image, brand price, all of these things and instead of this then and catch method I want to use await and async method so let us write here async and instead of this let us use our different method so await and product.save to refresh our database then if product will not found then I want to return 500 for warning then let us send the message the product cannot be created and if it is created successfully then let us write here Send product now save our file now here one interesting thing if our user create a product with this but if our category is not valid and it is not inside our database so we have to send the message so for that first we have to check our category is valid or not so let us create a variable category use our category model so here capital C then we have to find it is valid or not so our function name is find by ID then here we have to pass request dot body dot categories then if our category is not found then we have to return a message that is invalid category so now let us save our file open postman i want to post inside our products and here instead of this i want to display these things name description and all of these things And here you can see in this category, I write this mouse category. So it is valid category of our this product. So now let us send the request. But you can see here this is not working because instead of this constant, we have to use this lead because we use this product variable again here and we use this category as reference so we have to import this so now save our file open the postman and send the request again now we get our data successfully so now let us get our details with our individual product id so for that i have to create a new get request and here this is for our individual id so I write like this and instead of this product list let us write here only product 
and first we have to find by id because we have to show particular product id so here we have to pass request dot params dot id and now save our file open postman i want to copy this product id click on this get request paste here send so we get individual product id details but if i want to get all products like this and click on this send here i will get all of the details but this is very confusing so for that i only want to display name and image so i write here name and image and then let us send this request again so now you will get only name and image of our products but he, this is not working yes my database connection is ready now so here you can see we will get only image and name but i don't want to allow this id so for that here i write this minus id send the request again my database connection is not ready now it is ready now so here you can only get name and image now let us use the concept of our reference because remember inside our product we have to pass the reference of this category you can also see in this model here category is our reference so here you can see on my mongodb database i don't want to show the category details inside of our product detail so for that go inside our products.js and here i want to write populate so let us remove this stuff and instead of this populate and this is our category so similarly i want to display for this so now save our file i want to send the request again so you will be actually see the details of our category inside you can see here this is inside our product so you can see each product category details like this because we use this populate method and we have to pass the reference of our category collection now i want to update a particular product similar like our category so for that i want to create a new post request so router dot put sorry here our put for our update and we have to pass the id this is async method request response then we have to create our product variable await use our category model and we have to find by id method but here we also want to update so right here find by id and update pass request dot params dot id and here i want to put all of these tables that our user wants to update and then here i write new true so i can instantly see inside my post request then we have to use this similar concept if our product is not available so if product is not available then send this message and we also have to pass this category details so we have to check it is valid or not so here we pass 
our details so now save the file go inside our postman and here i want to use this put method and i select this product id of our this item and let us change in reach description so i write here one two three and click on this send method so here you can get the change in reach description because i put this update but you can see we apply the logic for here this category id is invalid but if our user passed the wrong product id so we also have to check that so for that here i want to apply this logic if mongoose is valid object id that we our user pass in parameter so it that is collect then it will be go inside this and if it is incorrect then he will be passed this message invalid product id and remember we use mongoose so we also have to import that so now save our file now i want to apply the logic for delete the product so remember inside our categories we also have to apply this delete request so now i want to copy this and post this delete method here but we have to change some stuff because instead of this category i want to write product and we have to change here also this is our product model we pass our id find by id and remove our user passes id then we have to check some condition if our product id is available or not and if it is available then pass the message the product is delete and here product not found now i want to save this file go inside our post man and i want to write this delete and click on this send so here you can see our product that user passes the individual id is deleted successfully let's take a quick pause here and if you want to continue with the next part or you can also say the last part of our section 2 then the video link is in the description you can also get our full playlist link of this project also in the description and inside our next part we apply a logic so we can get our feature products inside our web api so i hope you are excited for our next video and if you got any error while programming in this part then in the description there is a github repository link so you can simply copy the code inside your computer i hope you guys are excited for our next video so if you like this project then give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you and bye-bye.